Hello, in this video I'm going to try and get Elite Dangerous to work with my motion simulator. So the first thing you're going to need to do is download Sim Tools, and you'll have to do that from the X Simulator website. If you click in Sim Tools, you can go on to download Sim Tools. and you would download it from there and once you've done that you need to download the plugin for Elite Dangerous so if I click on it and what you'll probably have to do is be an active member of the community to get coins or you can pay money to become a supporter and then you'll never have to worry about being active on the community and getting coins if I click on community, I am paid to be a member, so I can log in. And then I can go to downloads. And here's the Elite Dangerous plugin for 2.0.09. And download that now. And save that and if I open the folder for that you can see it's here Elite Dangerous plugin and there's the latest version so I don't need the website anymore now you need to go to your sim tools directory which I've got to open here and the first thing I need to do is load the plugin updater and I'm going to run that as administrator. Now you need to drag the Elite Dangerous plugin into there and say yes and it says complete OK and then you need to close um, the plugin updater. It's definitely gone. Now I need to load the game manager and run that as administrator and close the splash screen it's been minimized to the tray so I need to open it from here double click and then I need to select Elite Dangerous 64 for Horizons and then I need to click on patching and remove the old patch and I'm going to patch the game. I need to find the path for Elite Dangerous 64. And it says, please select the Elite Dangerous 64 installation directory, Frontier Developments Products, Elite Dangerous 64. Now, on the drive that you've installed the game, which for me is on my SSD, you need to go to Users, then whatever your name of your user is, and then to app data then to local then to frontier underscore developments not this one with the space the one with the underscore then to products then to elite dash dangerous dash 64 and that is the directory you want press OK and then click patch game would you like to patch Elite Dangerous for motion, yes, ok. Then it will tell you you've got an error, error while trying to install sys wow 64 ext and get base address 64, please run game manager in admin mode or copy the files to the installation directory of SimTool. so you'll need to double click on the plugin, find those two files and copy those or extract them and then you need to copy them to your sim tools directory d program file sim tools d Sim 
tools. Okay. Replace those. Okay. So that should now have patched the game. Alright, now I need to load the game engine. So I'm going to double click that. I'm going to run it as administrator. And that will start your simulator. You can probably hear it moving as it centers itself. And then we need to run Elite Dangerous. Dangerous Horizons. to do with the loading thing. Uh, we'll try training. And hopefully the simulator should move with the movements of the ship. 